displaying their work in the Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art. And it's all a part of the exhibition Made in VA 2022. Joining me right now, Heather Hakimzadeh from the museum, Made in Virginia, Made in VA artist, I should say, Ken Garcia Olias. Ken, help me say your last name. Garcia Olias. Olias, okay, make sure I got it right. Thank you all so much for joining me. Heather, first things first, talk to me about this exhibition. Sure, this is our 27th um, juried exhibition. MoCA has been doing them since the 90s. Um, and every year it has grown. We open it up to every art, living artist in the Commonwealth. They can apply. And so they apply online and we have a juror who is from somewhere in the United States um, choose the artists. And we had over 530 applications Ooh. this year and only 31 artists accepted. That's tough. How do you go from 500 to 31? What's that process? Like? Um, well, like I said, we ask. I don't have to do it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, but we, we asked jurors. This year it was um, a woman named Bana Katan, who is an associate curator for the Museum of Contemporary Art in Chicago. Oh, wow. And they go through rounds. So they go online, the applications are online, and she went through over 2,100 images that artists submitted, and she just slowly goes through them to yes, no, and maybe until she whittles it down. Jeez, what a process. And you know, Ken, you're one of the 31. So talk yes. to me about your artwork and kind of what you do. Well, for one, I, I am an artist and I'm a baker and a barista and HR and everything for my shop. Everything. Yeah, yeah. So what is your artwork? Tell me kind of what your craft is. What can people see when they come to this exhibition? Uh, well, the painting that's there right now is a self-portrait. So it's inspired by me. So, but um. I guess you could say it's the story of Pandasal and me baking and it's not so many bakers that I know of that are outside of the Philippines that are baking Pandasal so it's just being part of that you know. It's an experience in itself and it tells your story which is amazing which by the way he brought in some things from his bakery and it's Angie's Bakery is that correct? Yes, Angie's Bakery. Oh, as soon as he opened the box it smelled so good and just you know Talk to me, Heather, kind of what it's like to know that these artists that have more than just their art, but a, a story to tell and things to say to the public. What's it like bringing them into this process? It's extremely rewarding. You know, we have so much talent in our area and you're right, they all have an amazing story. And so it, it is one of the most rewarding aspects of my job to give them that platform and this opportunity to show the amazing work they're doing and to create dialogue and for them to under, you know, to share the remarkable talent with our community. So for anyone that wants to see this exhibition and come experience it, what do they need to do? What's the next step? Well, we're open Thursday through Sunday. We are um, open to the public. We are free. So what they need to do is just come to the museum and um, they, can, they can see the exhibitions. Where can they go to maybe get more information or anything like that? Um, Virginia Mocha, Virginia spelled out, M-O-C-A dot org, uh, has everything. It has our hours, how to get there. We're at um, 2200 Parks Avenue in Virginia Beach, which is if you're on 264 and you're heading to the beach, it's the first stoplight um, at the end of the highway. You turn left and we're right there. And you know, Ken, for artists, you know, this is a big deal to kind of have your work featured. What's it mean to you to be a part of this? It, it means a lot to me, you know, um, it's nice to be recognized with your passion, you know, and I just enjoy being part of the museum. Everyone there is really great and awesome, so yeah, it's just been a fun ride. Anything else you guys want to add about this? Um, only that, you know, uh, it is a real privilege to share our talent, to like find these, these people. It is um, artists in the Commonwealth, and we do this every year. And um, it, it's something I adore because then I learn who the talent is and we work really hard as a museum to continue our relationship with all these artists. So we want them to apply, but we also want people to come see the artwork. You heard it, come see the artwork. You can go to their website for more information. Heather, Ken, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We'll be right back with more news and weather.